We are asking you to take three different physical measurements at the age 14 survey, height, weight and body fat percentage. Height and weight are used to calculate body mass index or BMI, which is a ratio of height over weight. Body fat percentage is the amount of weight in the body made up of fat and helps us to understand obesity. The young people are very familiar with all three measurements as they've had them all taken before and understand the process very well. At the age 11 survey, 98% of them had all three measurements taken. Growth is a really important part of development in young people. Childhood obesity is a major health concern and its current government policy to achieve a downward trend in excess weight amongst children by 2020. Findings from the cohort studies have shown that childhood obesity has been increasing over time. Children and young people who are overweight tend to grow up into adults who are overweight and this can lead to health problems in later life such as diabetes, high blood pressure and certain types of cancer. There are also psychological problems associated with obesity which can lead to isolation and depression. To carry out the physical measurements you must have consent Parents must give written consent and the young person must give verbal consent. The young person should be able to stand unaided. If they cannot because they have a disability, you cannot measure them. A parent must be present during the physical measurements as you will need to touch the young person. You must always have your tablet with you and use CAPI, following the script and recording the measurements when prompted, as there are important checks in the script to ensure they are carried out safely and accurately. Next we are going to look at the procedure for measuring height. Height is measured using a portable height measure called a stadiometer. They are expensive so please look after them carefully. Always keep them in the box and if you need to clean them with a damp cloth. You will also need the physical measurement summary sheet the Frankfurt playing card and your CAPI tablet. The height measure consists of a base plate, four measuring sections which are marked with a measuring scale in centimetres and inches. One side is black and one side is blue. The measuring rods are stored in the base plate. A measuring arm which you must always move by the handle as it is very delicate. Two white stabilisers give the measure rigidity these are held together with an elastic band in the box. There is a serial number on the box and height measure that you will be asked to enter into CAPI. Ideally, the height measure should be assembled on a firm, uncarpeted surface and close to a wall without skirting boards or against a door. If you have to use a door, make sure that other people in the household know what you are doing to avoid accidents. Assemble the measure close to the door or wall that you are going to measure against and carefully move it into place when you have put it together. Remember, you'll also need your CAPI tablet to hand so you are able to record the measurement as soon as you've taken it. There is a recommended order for assembling the height measure, which is in your instructions and the physical measurement summary sheet. Take the four measuring sections from the base plate and unlock the measuring arm by sliding it forward. Take the first measuring section, marked with a downwards arrow, and slide it firmly into the slot at the back of the base plate. Slide one of the stabilisers onto this measuring section, pointing towards the back, and make sure it is clear of the join. Slide the second measuring section on top of the matching star icons on the black side. Slide the blue measuring arm onto the third measuring section making sure it is the right way up, that is, the flat side facing downwards. Attach the third measuring section onto the second by matching the circle icons. Slide the second stabiliser onto the fourth measuring section before joining it to the third. Attach the fourth measuring section to the third by matching the square icons. At this point, you may have to tilt the measure towards you to avoid hitting the ceiling. Slide the measure into place against the wall or door. 
When the height measure is not being used, make sure the blue measuring arm is at the top of the measure to avoid anyone walking into it. Remember to always use the handle. Next, you will need to prepare the young person. Please ask them to remove their shoes and socks. They should be wearing light indoor clothing with any items in their pockets removed. You will also need to ask the young person to take off their glasses if they wear them. But if you need glasses, please remember to wear them so you can read the measurement accurately. The young person will also need to remove any hair accessories or hairdos that affect how accurately you can measure their height, including ponytails, and ask them to tuck their hair behind their ears. However, do not ask them to remove any hairstyles that are worn for religious reasons. Before you start, you will need to explain to the young person what you are going to do and that to measure their height, you will need to touch their face. Make sure they are happy with this. Ask the young person to stand on the base plate with their heels together and touching the back of the base plate. They should stand on the footprints if the stadiometer has them. Their legs and back should be as straight as possible against the measure, arms hanging loosely by their sides and facing forwards. The back of their head should also be in contact with the measure. To take the measurement, slide the arm by the handle firmly onto the young person's head, making sure it is touching their skull. Then move to stand in front of the young person. Place the palms of your hands on their cheeks with your fingers resting on the bony bits behind their ears. Tilt their head until it is in the Frankfurt plane position. This is an imaginary horizontal line running from the bottom of the eye socket to the middle of the ear. It ensures we measure their full height from their crown to their feet. You should see the young person's head slightly raise the measuring arm. Release the young person's head and ask them to duck off the base to make sure they don't knock the measuring arm. Read the measurement from the scale from between the red pointers in centimetres to the nearest completed millimetre. Do this as quickly as possible and do not read it out loud. Immediately record the measurement into CAPI. Thank the young person. You should only need to take the measurement once, but if you are unhappy with it, you can do it again. You'll need to record this in CAPI if you do so. To put the height measure away, move the measure away from the wall or door. Move the measuring arm down to the third measuring section before removing the fourth. You may need to tilt it towards you again. Some sections may stick, so take care of people's ceilings and lights. Slot the sections into the base plate. Turn the measuring arm upside down and slot it into the base plate. Secure the stabilizers with an elastic band. Place the height measure into the box and secure with the strap. Now let's look at a full demonstration of an interviewer measuring the height of a young person. I'm now going to take your height. I'd like you to stand on the footprints with your feet against the back. I'd like you to stand tall with your hands down by your side and look straight ahead. I'm going to pull the measuring arm down onto the top of your head. Then I'm going to place my fingers under your ears and tilt your head forward. Then I will ask you to duck and step off. Okay? Okay. OK, if you could remove your socks and shoes for me and take your hair down. And make sure it's tucked behind your ears. And if you can stand onto the footprints with your heels against the back and together. That's fine. If you can just stand straight and just look straight ahead for me. Hands down by your side. Okay. Just stand with your head touching the back and facing straight forward. 
I'm going to bring the measuring arm down. Okay. And I'm now going to cut my hands under your face and bring your head forward. Okay, just relax. Okay, I'll just be there and I check it. Now I'd like you to duck and step off. Thank you. Thank you very much, Bella. If the young person is exceptionally tall, it can be hard to line up the Frankfurt plane. When you think the line is horizontal, take a step back to check from a short distance. If you are not happy doing this, you may take the measurement next to a step or stairs in order to do the measurement at your eye line. In this case, you may also ask the parent to move the measuring arm down for you, but don't whatever you do, use a stool.